Do you know what a plot twist is? Every good story has that moment in the arc of the narrative in which things take a right turn or a left turn or a U-turn. And what happened, the viewer or the reader never imagined. In this case, here's what happened. On the 13th day of the 12th month, the month of Adar, the edict commanded by the king was to be carried out. On this day, the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them. King Xerxes commanded everybody to bow as Haman walked past, whatever the situation. When Mordecai heard that command, something about his Jewish ancestry woke up and he stood up and he refused to bow. Haman was so upset that he decided not just to punish uh, Mordecai, but punish all of Mordecai's people, all the Jews. But look at this. But now the tables were turned, and the Jews got the upper hand over those who hated them. And Mordecai urged his cousin Esther, Queen Esther. She explained to the king that somebody was plotting the death of her people as well as herself. The king was perplexed. Who could this be? And she pointed at Haman. Well, the king turned his wrath on Haman, and that was the end of Haman. God flipped this story on its head from one moment to the next. A peripety is a literary device that describes a plot twist. In the case of Esther, there is a peripety parade. And God's people went from Esther 4, 3 to Esther 8, 16. There was great mourning among the Jews with fasting and weeping and wailing. Many lay in sackcloth and ashes. That's Esther 4, 3. Now compare that with Esther 8. For the Jews, it was a time of happiness and joy and gladness and honor. Are you closer to Esther 4 or Esther 8? today. Maybe you live under the shadow of a Haman. Maybe the pandemic has taken all your joy. The struggles of life have pilfered your life. And you don't know where to turn. With every ounce of energy I can muster, I urge you, friend, for all you know, your peripety will happen before the day's over. You know that God is a peripety-making God. Don't underestimate the power of God. But most of all, you got to stay in the game. Esther could have given up. Mordecai could have given up. But they all chose the road of faith. And because they did, we know what happened to their story. What's going to happen 